Okay, so my favorite OS has just had an update and uh, Twister OS has gone from 1.7 to 1.8 uh, and I've updated already. Uh, so added Raspbian 7, which is a Windows 7 theme, which I'll have a look at in a second. Uh, numerous theme improvements, improved RetroPie performance, and uh, Salvador contacted me, this is how I know about this, uh, and he said, on the latest update on Twister OS, the guy's got emulation station running on GMB as it should be. And I've looked, and it looks like it's either a DRM or a video driver. So it's going to be uh, a big improvement in performance should be expected from that, so that's great. Uh, updated Spotlight app, uh, which is like the search. Updated theme Twister GUI app. Added Q Joypad. It's a way of uh, configuring your controller to work with pretty much any game. Uh, added JS Test. I don't know what that is. And updated README. So let's close that down. Uh, I also wanted to mention, uh, so I've done quite a lot of case reviews recently because I've been sent loads of stuff. Uh, I've been receiving all sorts of emails about promotions and things. And uh, I've just received this yesterday and I built it up and it is incredible but I don't want to do back-to-back -back case reviews I want to do software and kind of mix it up um, so uh, also I need a bit of time to be able to do the review because there's so much to it I mean I saw it and loved the look of it but didn't really watch any reviews uh, didn't read anything about it but there's a lot of things to love about this case. Anyway, I'll cover that in a different video. I'll put a link in the description to it. So let's close the browser down as well. And let's go in for that theme twister. And next. And then, so Raspbian 7, this is the new one. I love the way that you can see what you're going to get as you change it. wonder what will happen, because obviously I've changed my wallpaper. Uh, I'm not using the standard Twister OS wallpaper, so hopefully it will come up with the Raspbian 7 wallpaper with the theme and then you could choose to change it if you want to. So hit enter to continue. Okay so as you can see lovely wallpaper there. Uh, the theme looks great, looks very very faithful to Windows 7. Yeah everything moves nice and snappy. Obviously everything is here that was here before but uh, yeah, even the old office logo, the, the attention to detail on this is, is just so good, isn't it? I mean, it, everything just looks great. If you're used to Windows 7, I really think it would fool people if they started using this uh, and they were used to Windows 7 from old, then I think they would just carry on and use it. You know, even the WinZip icon, really, really nice, recently used. Look. Okay, so let's have a look at RetroPie. I don't know if you, you can launch it normally from the desktop, uh, Let's see what happens. Oh, I haven't got anything in there at the moment. I need to put my USB stick in, which is in uh, which is in my Nest Pi case. Let's pop my USB stick in with all my ROMs on. Hit start and go to quit. Restart emulation station. There you go. So that picks up my ROMs. Uh, this was slow before, so this might be an improvement. This is definitely moving faster to switch between them. Okay, so let's go straight into PSP and we'll try a bit of OutRun. So what have we got, 29, 30, nearly 30 FPS. Certainly feels fast. I don't really know this game that well. Let's try, oh yeah, it looks like it's a bit, bit of a drifty game. Yeah, that seems to be working pretty well. So I think I will have a look at QJoyPad. So let's quit out of that. And if I want to close down Emulation Station, just press Start, Quit, Shh, Quit Emulation Station. So as QJoyPad has been added, let's uh, let's have a look at it and uh, see what we can do. So games, yeah, Salvador contacted me about this and I've been meaning to do a video on it, but things kept cropping up and I thought oh, I'll keep that and uh, I'll make a video of it at some point. But let's do a little bit of it now. So if I click on it down in the bottom here, uh, you can see I'm just gonna remove that because I did it wrong anyway. Uh, so if we go, you can see it's on joystick. Uh, this is the Xbox controller that I've got plugged in at the moment. Uh, if I do add, I could choose to do a setup. So say I did Quake and hit OK. Uh, so for instance, uh, axis one, so that would be left and right. 
okay so I'm doing left on my controller you can see it's moving and right so for left I need to press that and for left I'll do A for right I'll hit D hit OK so now I need to find the axis for up and down which is probably that it is so axis up and down is uh, axis 2 gives me up and down on my controller this is the analog stick I'm moving. So up, W, down, S. So AWSD, the sort of standard keyboard controls. So if you had a version that didn't work with a joypad but used the sort of standard mouse and keyboard controls, you can set it up in that way. So now if I open a some sort of notepad up or Word. So now if I spin my controller around, you can see AWSD is coming through, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. Uh, and my controller sticks a bit, so if I leave it, oh no, it's all right. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can see how that sets up. So let's do another one. Uh, and this time I'll do uh, Elastomania. But I don't know what the numbers are. So for instance, so axis one, which I, I discovered was left and right. So let's go uh, left and right hit OK so I've got left and right now which is what you need in Elastomania to uh, flip forward and back uh, then I need uh, spacebar to be on one key but I don't know what one and two I guess one and two is going to be A and B so for A I'm going to go with accelerate which is up oh, which is up for B button as long as, as long as 1 and 2 is A and B, I'm going to do uh, down, which is break in Elastomania. And then, uh, so I'll do Y for spacebar, and I'm hoping Y is number 4. I probably need to write these down to know which one is which. Uh, so now, hopefully, if I go to games, and you need to spend a bit of time with this, but... It does mean that games that don't traditionally, like Elastomania, uh, which doesn't traditionally support a joystick uh, or a controller, it's just cursor keys and spacebar is the only way I've had of controlling it all these years. Uh, but now, so if I go to Working Wine, uh, Elastomania, so this is a Windows game. Working on the Pi 4. So what did I do? Space was that. I hope I've got this right. Oh, oh, so, so this is, I definitely need to do something with my controller. Right, yeah. So definitely A is accelerate. And uh, I can flip my bike left and right. Oh, it's really sensitive with the controller. Uh, and then I'll try brake in a minute when I get down to the floor. Oh, oh, play again. So as I say, this particular, I've got other Xbox 360 controllers, I should use others, but for a lot of games it's not, it's not an issue, it doesn't, it doesn't stick. And I don't know if you can set a dead zone on this, so B, yeah, B's break, definitely, and then Y is space. Yeah, so I'm now controlling it with my Xbox controller for the first time, <laughs> doing really bad, I'm, I'm so used to playing it with keys. So that is Q Joypad, and that comes in Twister OS. Uh, so basically, you don't need, you don't tend to have to do much at all. You're just adding another. Well, if I go now, so can I go back to Quake? Yeah, so I can go back to Quake and back to Elastomania. So if you play multiple games, and this could work, I don't know if this works with RetroArch, uh, but it certainly works with things that are running in the OS. And as and this could work with RetroPie. I need to I need to look at this more in the future. But this is more about uh, showing that Twister OS has had an update. But this Q Joypad, uh, I can see for some people this is going to be great. Uh, you know, there's so much you can do with it, uh, and you can control all sorts of things, even type with your controller. So great job to the Pi Labs team and Twister OS. This is just it was already the best OS for me, and uh, it keeps getting better. Anyway, I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.